this uh, session we will study the one of the application of the salt that is called as salt hydrolysis so what is actually the salt hydrolysis so it is a phenomenon so just mind it this is a phenomenon in which the water react with the salt so water reacting with the salt and they form an acid and a base so chemically this process is a uh, nothing but uh, opposite of neutralization reaction what is neutralization reaction so you know very well when the acid and base reacts so they will give you salt plus water but here salt is reacting with the water so they will give they will give acid and base so this is called as the salt hydrolysis and reverse of this is acid and base called neutralization reaction so this reaction is salt plus uh, water that is salt hydrolysis is called as the is a endothermic and neutralization is exothermic reactions so you can see here this is the h plus coming from the acid which from the base it will give you water so this is a neutralization and same water with the interaction of the cations plus anions coming from the salt they will give you h plus and OH. so this is the salt hydrolysis and again uh, k for this salt reacting with the water is nothing but the k is acid and base divided by salt plus water similarly uh, k into water will be equal to kh and uh, this will give you Concentration of acid into base by salt. So water is neutral or practically constant so during the hydrolysis, and K is nothing but the hydrolysis constant of salt. Now next, uh, the fraction of the total salt that is hydrolyzed, the fraction of total salt that is hydrolyzed at equilibrium, at equilibrium is called as degree or extent of hydrolysis, and it is denoted by symbol H. So H is given here. Salts are strong electrolytes. So when dissolved in water, so they dissociate almost completely into ions. So we'll discussing why uh, hydrolysis of salt take place so due to this one. So in some salts, cations are more reactive in comparison to anions. So some cations are more reactive, and similarly, these react with water to produce H plus ions, and thus the solutions acquire the acidic natures. Like this is there. So M plus is the cation which, which is the reactive more reactive and reacting with the water they will give you weak base plus H plus so this salt becomes solution become ST due to the production of this H plus ion so this is the more stronger that's why more stronger than the best so it is solution ST similarly the anion is more reactive than water they will give you weak acid but due to the presence of strong base the solution become basic so if both acid and base are either strong or weak if both acid and bases are either strong or weak, the solution is generally neutral in nature. So if both are a weak acid or weak base, the solution becomes neutral in nature. So based on nature of a cationoanion of the salt determines whether its solution will be acidic or basic. It is proper to divide the solution into four categories. So I am dividing the salts, uh, those types of salts, four categories. So this is salt of strong acid, strong base. So this is FeCl3, this is salt of strong acid. This is a weak base. Similarly, CuCl3, CuCl2, AlCl3, ammonium chloride, Cu sulfate. So this is the weak base, strong acid. Similarly, salt of strong base, weak acid. So uh, sodium acetate, this is strong base, weak acid. Weak acid, strong base, like this is there. Third category is salts of weak acid and strong, weak base. So this is ammonium acetate. So weak base, weak acid. This is the weak base, weak acid, ammonium carbonate, ammonium bicarbonate. And fourth category is salts of strong acid and strong base. So KNO3 is strong base, NO3 is the strong acid, sodium is the strong base, and Cl is the strong base. So like sodium nitrate, NaBr, potassium surplus, all this, this is the fourth category of salts. So let us study all classification one by one. So case one. Salt of strong acid and weak base means uh, solution of this salt with water form a acidic in nature. So let us take example how it is acidic in nature. So this is example of ammonium chloride. Ammonium is the weak base, a strong acid. So when it react with the water, so here uh, the cat it will be ionizing. This is a salt of strong uh, acid and weak base. So it will ionize completely and it will give you ammonium hydroxide plus water. So this is a weak base. So this will not it have a low, low degree of dissociation since it is weak base and we know that they have a low degree of dissociation. What will happen? It is also supplied due to the unhydrolyzed ammonium. So here it is. Uh, Ammonia hydrolyzed on un, uh, unhydrolyzed. So what will happen? So interaction of H plus increases. So interaction of H plus in the water will increase and it will make the solution acidic. So due to the less ionization of the ammonium hydroxide, so this will uh, play important role in the solution and the solution become acidic in nature. So this is called as the cationic hydrolysis and pH of uh, salt which is dissolving in water will be always have a less than seven. 
so let us study this one uh, decision constant of such a salt and their hydrolysis a degree of hydrolysis and what is the pH of this solution which is less than 7 so three thing we will study pH uh, degree of hydrolysis and hydrolysis constant so if take, take this one this is the one take one example so this is a, uh, some salt ammonium chloride so take ammonium ammonium air reacting with the water so it will form a cationic hydrolysis it form a ammonium hydroxide plus H plus so initial concentration is C and at equilibrium this will be C alpha C X C X or C 1 minus X what is X X is the degree of hydrolysis you can denote by H also so now applying the law of mass action so if you apply it K H equal to so this will be here so put here this value so you will get here C X square 1 minus X so let us convert X into H C H square 1 minus H so with this there are some other equilibria also other equilibria also exist in the solution so these are the ammonium hydroxides ammonium hydroxides they also dissociate like ammonium ions plus water even water also dissociate as a H plus and OH minus so for this one KB will be this much and for this KW will be H plus into OH so if you divide KW by KB on dividing you will get this value and this value is nothing but the KH you can compare this value and this value so this will give you KH so from here H plus is equal to KH into ammonium ion by ammonium hydroxide so KH we can write here KW by KB and this will be this one so KH is nothing but KW by KB so this uh, H is replaced by this one so now just multiplying this and this by log to each side so you will get here log of H plus log KW log KB plus log of this is the salt this is the base so again if you solve it by minus so it might if you minus log it become pH this will be minus log KW PKW plus log KB and minus log of ammonium concentration by ammonium hydroxide then pH is nothing but the PKW minus POH you know very well pH plus POH is equal to PKW so this is the you know so by using this lesson we can get this one is a PKW log of B and this is value so on solving you will get POH plus PKV plus log of salt by base. this is the pH of the solution now we'll see the relation between the hydrolysis constant and the degree of hydrolysis that is the KH and H what is H? HV is nothing but the amount of the salt hydrolyzed divided by the total salt taken so if you remember KH is nothing but the CH square by 1 minus H now if the decision constant that is the hydrolysis degree of hydrolysis is very very less than 1 so we can write here uh, this is equal to 1 so h is square equal to kh by c from here so h is equal to square root of kh by c so kh is nothing but the kw by kb into c that we have already seen kw by kd this is the kh so kh we can is already given here so uh, h is equal to this value now one more thing the salt is interacting with the water the salt is interacting with water so on interaction what happens at equilibrium we are getting C into 1 minus H this was CH and CH so if you remember this was the at equilibrium we are getting this concentration so here H is nothing but the C into H so H is KW by KB into C so just substitute this value into here so you will get this value put inside C so now what is the pH now we are going to find the pH so pH of the solution will be minus log of H plus minus log KW into C by KB square root so if you solve it on solving you will get pH is equal to 7 minus half log Kc log, log C in minus log KB so you can see here so this is subtracting from 7 so definitely the pH of the solution will be less than 7 and solution is called acidic so sort of the and strong acid is less than 7 that already we have seen here now we will see the case 2 so case 2 is the sorts of the weak acid in a strong base the here solution will be basic in nature so in this case what happens this is the let's take example of sodium acetate so this is the sodium acetate the strong base and weak acid so when it interact with the water so it will give weak acid weak base region is same only it will ionize completely because salts are strong electrolytes so this is the anionic hydrolysis this is example of anionic hydrolysis so again here pH is greater than 7 we will derive why pH will be greater than 7 so now let us take the the salt how it is interacting with the water so on interaction it will form acetic acid plus OH so initial concentration C this will be adequate this will be CH CH and this is C into 1 minus if you apply the law of mass action you will get here CH square 
into 1 minus s by taking these two value and dividing by this one. So there are other equilibria also there, acetic acid and water, this also present in the solution, this will undergo a dissociation, this also undergo dissociation like this one. So k will be this much value, k will be this much value. So again divide by k, divide by k, you will get this value which is nothing but the kh if you compare with so the here's a kh value you can see here you can compare this and this both are same so this is a kh so now we can say oh is equal to kh into concentration this by this so kw by k will go this concentration so on again if you multiply it both sides by taking log if you take log log of oh this will log kw log k a plus log of salt by acid so salt means this is a salt this is the acid so minus pH, this is the pOH minus pKW plus pK log of salt by acid. So this is nothing but the, this will come this side, pKW minus pOH, pK plus log of salt. So on solving this is pH. So what is the relation between again KH and H? We can find out. So KH is nothing but the C square by 1 minus. This we already derived. You can see here. Already we have derived it. This is the KH. And again, so h is lesser than 1 so if less than 1 then 1 minus h is equal to 1 so h is equal to kh by c so h is equal to kh by c so this is a constant hydrolysis is constant by concentration or h into if you want to multiply by c so h into c will be kh into c so concentration of oh will be square root of kh into c and kh is nothing but the this is nothing but the kw by kc so po is equal to square root of kw by ka into c so H plus equal to KW by OH, so KW will be equal to C into KW by K. So it becomes KA into KW by C. So again, minus log of H, so this is equal to minus log of KA into KW by square root. This is a half of C. So on solving, you will get minus this value. So pH equal to, so this equal to, pH equal to half pKW plus half pK plus half log C. So we can see here, pH equal to, 7 plus so 7 plus means the pH value of the solution will be more than 7 so it is a basic solution next case is we have the salt of weak acid and weak base so here what happens the solution of such salt in water when this uh, salt is reacting with the water they will almost show neutral character on hydrolysis but it can be either slightly acidic or slightly alkaline also if both the reaction take both the reaction means a weak acid will react with the water and weak base will react with the water then with slightly different rates. If the rate will be different, then it can be acidic or basic. So this you keep in mind. If they are reacting equally, it will be neutral, but if will, they will react differently, then it can be slightly acidic or slightly basic. So keep this in thing in your mind. So let us take example of ammonium acetate. So here both cation and anion undergo uh, of salt undergo hydrolysis. So pH is almost neutral. However, it depends upon the respective value of dissociation constant of K and KB. So by which salt is formed. So now we take this example. So here I am taking acetate is reacting with the water. So it will form acetic acid plus OH. O ammonium also react with the water is to form your ammonium hydroxide plus OH. So this is a weak base. This is the weak acid. So both the reactions occur with the same speed. So solution is neutral. This is the one condition we are using. Now when this acetyl plus ammonium react with the water, so it will form acetic acid plus ammonium hydroxide. So again this will be weakly ionized. This will be weakly ionized. So this we will utilize in the later reaction to find the acetic, uh, acid, uh, pH of the solution. This or this. So initial concentration C and C. So this will be CACH. So KH will be use this value. This divided by this one. So this will be nothing but the h square divided by 1 minus h whole h square. And again, if you take the h is very very less value, more less than 1. So h equal to square root of k into h. So there are other equilibria also exist in this in this conditions like acetic acid is feebly ionized. It will convert to this plus this. Ammonium hydroxide also feebly ionized this into this. And the water is also there. Convert to 3. H plus and OH. So for K is this value, for KB is this much value, K. So we have three constant value K, KB, and KW, and fourth is KH. So from 1, 2, and 3, we can write KH equal to KW into K into KB. So this is the actually for condition. So KH is equal to this value. So from this value, we are converted to KW into K into KB. If you put, you will get that. Now I remember, so when the 
this ammonium acetate dissolved in water, so it is giving acetic acid and, and ammonium hydroxide. So from that acetic acid I am taking. So if you remember the acetic acid was in this acetic acid reacting with the water. So concentration of CH at equilibrium. So this is at equilibrium. What was that? CH and this was the acetate was a C into one minus H. But the uh, H plus will be depend on the because water is also giving H plus. So this is this is not confirm how much value of H plus will be there. Okay, so we have to find how because H plus is also coming from the water. If you remember, H plus is also coming from the water because it is the weak acid. So we have to we don't know the value of H plus. This will give you complete uh, concentration at equilibrium. So K equal to in this case product of this concentration divided by acetic acid. So H plus we don't know, so write the value C into 1 minus H by CH, so Ke will be your, uh, this uh, concentration H plus by H. So if you solve it, to H plus equal to K into H or we can say KW into K A by KB. So this is the concentration H plus. So if you multiply by minus log this into this, this is equal to minus log of H plus, this will be your minus log K minus log KW plus half log KB. So if you solve it, you will get pH equal to 7 plus half pKa minus pKb. This is the value of salt of weak acid and weak base. So value it will be more than 7. Now here different conditions are required. See here very clearly. When pKa is equal to pKa, it means Ka equal to Kb, that is 7, the solution will be neutral in nature. But if pK, that is this value is greater than pKb, then what will happen? The solution will be alkaline. So we can see that the solution is alkaline because acid will be slightly weaker than the base, then pH will be greater than 7. If pK is lesser than pKb, the solution will be acidic because acid is relatively stronger than base and pH will be lesser than 7. There are some more points you need to remember. So in this case, pH, KH, H of the salt of weak acid and weak bases independent of concentration. So we can see there is no concentration but the previous we have seen it there was concentration value and in case of weak acid weak, uh, base salt hydrolysis the degree of hydrolysis that is H for both cation and anion is same and is independent of K and KB value of corresponding acid and base. Third point the degree of hydrolysis that is always increases with increase in temperature why because at elevated temperature increase in Kw. So when the value of Kw is greater as compared to K and Kb, so H will be always increased. So we have to remember all these important points.